What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I'm coming at you live from a swinging chair. I know, it's pretty exciting. I asked you guys on Twitter to ask me questions and you guys came in clutch and came up with a ton of really cool and fun questions. I was like, please don't ask my favorite color. If you wanna know my favorite color though, it is yellow. I'm finally home for like a good amount of time now where I can like film a ton of videos and get back into a routine. So I'm just filming a ton of videos. So I hope you guys don't mind all these videos. If you guys wanna be involved in my next Q&A, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter, they're both at Danielle Carolyn because that is where I interact with you guys and ask you guys questions. Will you ever study abroad? Yes, I was planning on doing a May Mester next May of 2019 in Italy, um, potentially Milan. And then my mom was like, just make sure like you're home for all Freddy's graduation festivities. And I'm like, well, then that just won't work because my brother graduates next May from high school. So, <sighs> so. I would love to study a semester abroad, however, I just don't want to be gone that long and it's just not possible for me lately with like YouTube and stuff and like I'm not complaining like I love it and I just don't want to be away from Athens for like a whole semester I feel like you'll miss out on a lot so I thought a month was perfect so I really wanted to do a May semester but that won't work next May because I'd miss out on all my brother's stuff so I might look at summer but I kind of just want summer I don't know I really want to study abroad in Italy I want to a lot what is your favorite part about UGA's campus so I'm gonna literally go with UGA's campus rather than like Athens as a whole. By the way, comment down below if you guys would wanna see a video where I show like my favorite spots in Athens. I think that could be really fun, make it like a cool artsy video showing my favorite coffee shops, restaurants, places to go. I don't know how many people would care to see it, but I kinda wanna film it. I'd say one of my favorite spots on UGA's campus is Tate Student Center. You can find me there half my life. I go to the Starbucks there. I'm always studying. If you ever want to come say hi, I'm usually there in the back on my computer with headphones on. I also, um, I don't know how to explain this one area, but it's like when you're walking to the MLC from like this like big hill and there's like this field and you can just lay out and it just, it's just nice to like be outside in the sun. If you wrote a book, what would it be about? I would love to write a book. It's on my list and this was before all the YouTubers came out with books. Like this is something that I've always dreamed of doing. It would be about following your dreams and kind of just not caring what anyone else thinks and just kind of my journey. I mean, sounds kind of basic, but the amount of people I talk to that just like aren't confident enough to like do what they want or like feel let down by other people, like it just hurts my soul. So I would love to, I would love to travel around the country talking to girls in high school. Like that would be so cool. What is your living situation for next year? So I've talked about this before, but if you're new, what's up? Um, I'm gonna be a sophomore at University of Georgia in the fall and I'm actually living alone at an apartment. It's like in the, my same complex, but it's a little bit of a bigger apartment that has like a little studio room too. So I'm really excited. I chose not to live in the sorority house. I didn't apply. I just, I don't know. I really like being alone. I'm a really independent person and I just have so much stuff and like, I, I just need my alone. Like, I don't want to annoy anyone with all my filming and stuff and like, I'm always traveling. So like, I don't know. I didn't want my roommate to be lonely. I just figured I can just go visit my friends whenever I want. Um, so yeah, I have my apartment and get ready for an apartment tour. I'm so excited to decorate this one. Biggest advice for going into Rush. So I really want to film a whole video about recruitment, but it's kind of like a sticky situation. Like I don't want to say anything that I'm like not supposed to say or that could come off wrong. My biggest advice for going into recruitment is being yourself and like not caring about reputations or kind of going in with like this pre-thought that you're gonna go into this sorority or like only these sororities are good because that's just not the case. I went into Rush not knowing at all what sorority I wanted to go into. I knew a few people in a few different ones but that just didn't mean anything to me. Like I feel like judging one person off a whole sorority is just so silly. You could be a legacy for this one sorority but then they cut you for whatever reason and then you're bummed but there was a reason for that. Like maybe you weren't really gonna fit in with them. You just thought you're supposed to be in that sorority because your mom was in it or Whatever. My biggest advice is just being yourself, feeling comfortable, and just being okay with whatever results you get and just kind of going with it. Because if you have like something you want, like I'm telling you, you're going to get let down. You're going to get let down. I got let down a couple times and now I'm happy that I got let down from some of those things because I'm happy where I am now. What sports have you played in your life? So a lot of you guys might not believe this. Every time I tell someone they actually need proof of photos. But I swear, I used to be a tomboy. Like literally one time when I was little, I went into the hair in the hair salon and I asked the lady to cut my hair like a boy. Like I wanted to be like, I didn't want to be a boy, <laughs> but I wanted to be like a boy. Like I just like wanted to be treated like a guy, like by all my guy friends. Like I was such a tomboy. Like I would wear football jerseys and like all this stuff. 
From like first grade to eighth grade, I played wiffle ball, basketball, and flag football. I dabbled in soccer, but I'm really bad. Flag football was my jam. I was running back. I was pretty good. I got those touchdowns okay. Um, actually, one time I was on an all boys um, flag football team. Well, I was the one girl, so. How are your summer classes going so far? So I was really, 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 really stressed about my two online summer classes. I was really nervous that I wouldn't be able to do it when I was traveling and I wanted to like be able to enjoy my summer at the same time. And let me tell you guys, maybe it's just the two classes I'm taking, but it has been amazing. For both my classes, I either have something to do Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. So I know those three days I have to be looking and doing stuff. Everything is super easy to understand on the website. There's a checklist. There's actually a ton of girls in my sorority that are in the online classes too. So we made a group chat and we help each other out. It's just, it's a lot easier and I'm really thankful that I'm getting these credits out of the way and that they're not like taking over my summer. What is your guilty pleasure? Bread and butter. If you put bread and butter in front of me at dinner, I will eat at least three. I, I can't help it. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, I love bread and butter so much. Like a dinner roll. Oh my god. Baguette is my favorite. What are your favorite fashion trends right now? I'm really into simple gold jewelry, whether it's gold layered necklaces, small gold studs, this bracelet rings. I'm really into anything like gold yet simple. I'm also really into like black bodysuits with like denim blue jeans. Um, just simple like chic Outfits, I don't really know those. I don't think those are trends necessarily, but I'm really into like the simple minimalism kind of look Would you do a long-distance relationship again or was it too much to handle? Um, I would 100% do a long-distance relationship again like It was really hard sometimes with Joey and I but like I loved him I still love him so much that like it was so worth it The reason it just wasn't working out for us is because I was in college and like he was not and there was just so many things that weren't working at the time for our situation but I don't, I don't know, long distance is a cool thing. I think if you have the means to do it, it's possible. You just have to make sure you're seeing them often and then have an end goal to like live near each other. What has been your favorite trip from this summer? That's actually a really cool question because I've traveled a lot this summer. I'd say the trip that I was like so consecutively entertained and happy and just joyful on was um, my Chicago trip um, with Garage for tour. That was like my biggest meetup I've ever had. Me and Kenzie went to the Taylor Swift concert. My grandma came. I had never really been to Chicago before and I just really enjoyed exploring. And we went to this really cool like um, restaurant on the top of the John Hancock building. It was just, it was a really genuinely good weekend. So that would definitely have to be it. Would you ever get your nose pierced? Um, to be honest, no, I think they look so cool, but I blow my nose a lot. And like, I don't know, that just kind of weirds me out. Uh, and piercings just like look weird. I mean the only piercing I have is just the one here And I remember a long time ago I wanted to get my cartilage pierced and a second piercing and my mom's like super chill Like she does not care, but she was like, I'm not I'm not letting you do this like you're gonna regret it You're not gonna want to like when you're 18 you can and I'm so thankful she did just because I don't know I like kind of the simplicity of it I also don't love sleeping on earrings like I sleep in these studs, but if I had like another piercing in, I don't know I'm just simple like that. Would you ever consider doing a podcast? Hmm, stay tuned. What is your favorite music style? So sometimes when people meet me and they like, I don't know, I feel like people really generalize me, but my favorite type of music is legit like intense hip hop and rap. Like that's what gets me in the best mood. Like I'll be in a car and I'm like, guys, can we listen to some Bryson Tiller? And my friends are like, uh, no, can we go for some like country or some Katy Perry? And I'm like, what? So it's actually kind of funny. I don't know. People think like, oh, she probably listens to like girly music. But like, I do like girly music and I do like country and everything. But hip hop, rap, EDM, that's what gets me going. Feelings about Tana Khan. Um, so I've met Tana. She's super nice, super great gal. Um, her manager was my old manager, Jordan. What's up? I love you. Um, to be honest, I'm really enjoying watching all these videos that Shane Dawson's making. I don't really judge. I don't really care. I think it was just a lot of miscommunication from so many different people. I'd be the same way. I'd be like, yeah, let's do my own convention. And then I would like think I know what I'm doing, but I really don't. And I think she just really wanted to do it genuinely. I don't think it's any sort of like she wanted it to fail. I really don't. Like I actually did it. One of my meetups I had at Playlist Live was with Tana and she was 
so down to earth with her followers. Like she was very like, no, let's make sure we see everyone. She's so caring about people and I thought that was really cool. So I think she's genuine at heart and I think there's just a lot of miscommunication there. Dating anyone? Are you interested in other people or focusing on yourself right now? So, so many people have asked me like, so are you dating again? And I'm like, First of all, I'm in college and I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just UGA culture, but no one really like dates. Unless your boyfriend and girlfriend, like you're not like dating. I don't know. You like go on date nights with like guys and frats, but like it's not like, I don't know. Like <laughs> I don't like go for drinks. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> but no, I, I don't like have another boyfriend or like another love right now. I, one of the reasons Joey and I broke up was because I needed more time alone and I have been focusing so much on like my business and like my YouTube and like everything that I just don't have enough time to like give to another person. And when I do, it's like, I want to like be with my best girlfriends or I want to be with my family. And then like one other person, like I have to like give time to, I like actually don't have time. So, but I'm definitely excited to like go back to UJ in the fall and just like have fun. Uh, I'm just kind of I'm just trying to have fun like I I'm not a very like promiscuous person if that makes sense I don't really like I'm just I just kind of do me and if someone comes along the way That's cool, but that's just kind of how I'm living right now <laughs> Which movie would you want to live in a hundred percent the intern and Hathaway and the movie the intern is like my life goals Besides her husband cheating on her. That's so not cool But like her business and like her life and living in New York City and owning that company like that's dope as heck I wanna be her in that movie. As much as I'd love to keep doing this because I love just like talking to you guys, I feel like I do have to end the video now. I hope you, is someone calling me? Oh. It says myself is calling me. That's really creepy, right? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Like every time I just sit down and film a video like this, I'm just like, wow, I love my peeps. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Let me know down below what videos you guys want to see and if you liked this video. I will talk to you guys really soon. Thanks for watching.